Off today, everybody, Jason Salas here, and thank you so much for streaming KUM News Extra or watching on KUM TV8. We are going to get started off right away by talking about literacy and the wonderful joy that are books, that are magazines, that are periodicals. The library is a wonderful resource that everybody should take advantage of, and the Guam Public Library System is bringing back some very, very popular services. I have here Diana and Janelle, and we are going to talk about the library. Yes. Ladies, thank you so much for what you do for keeping literacy alive. I know we live in an area of Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram and everything like that, but if you want a true story, you've got to go to the library. Thank and you, you so much for having us. And you've got to read a book, exactly. Okay, uh, how long have, have each of you worked for the Guam Public Library System? Actually, I'm new. I started maybe two and a half months ago. Okay. So I hit the ground running. Okay, and where did you come from originally um, before that? Before I worked at Gita. Okay. And then my husband and I moved off island and we came back. Okay. This job, I would say, is significantly more quiet. Yes. Than economic <laughs> development and, yes. and, you know, forecasting and charts <laughs> and interest rates. And, yeah. but, but nonetheless more um, important and everything because you're teaching not only young people but also an older generation and everything like that, that you can go anywhere in the world and you can learn anything and basically be anything you want through books. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Okay. So you guys actually have... I don't even want to bury the lead. You guys have a wonderful program, an island institution that you guys are bringing back. Mm -hmm. Now, what is that? That's our bookmobile. Yes. Yes. So we will be launching that. That will be part of the um, uh, ceremony that we're that's part of the ceremony that we're going to have uh, the seventieth. Well, I'll let you take the lead. Yeah. So this year is the library's seventieth anniversary. So to commemorate that, we're having an event. Tuesday, um, November 26th at 10 a.m. and it's open to the public, so we want everyone to come and celebrate with us our 70th anniversary. And there is where we're going to relaunch our bookmobile. Okay. And how long has it been since the bookmobile has been around? Because we used to talk about it all the time. You'd see it. It was like I mean, where I grew up. Right? I grew up in Dedido, right? So in Ipapa Estates, it was a bookmobile and it was an ice cream truck. On weekends mm -hmm. and everything, those were like you know everybody runs out of the house, and because it was it was happiness on wheels. So it's been 20 plus years um, that we've had the bookmobile. It actually unfortunately went down in 2013, mm -hmm. but through the joint efforts of the gov the office of the governor um, and with the private sector sponsors, we have been able to get the bookmobile up and running. Um, so the sponsors, the private sector sponsors, actually include Matsa Navigation as the lead sponsor, so we'd like to thank them, and also the KUAM Care Force, they're great sponsors. We also have other great sponsors that we'd like to, to um, thank, and that would be Cabras Marine, South Pacific Petroleum Corporation, Pacific Daily News, GTA, and REMS. Each of those companies I know is very big into literacy too, so it's, yes. it's our honor to be able to help out. So, Okay, for people that have never experienced the bookmobile, Diana, um, what types of books are there? How many? And, and does it offer like all the full range of services if I actually went and set foot in the library? Like I can check out books, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a library technician uh, on the bookmobile when we have our scheduled routes. They're going to stop by specific places. We're actually working on our schedule right now, so anyone who wants to be a part of it, they can call our offices and ask to, to be a part of the bookmobile route. But um, I know that this round we're going to focus a lot on children's collections because we want a lot of the kids to come and see what's in the book, bookmobile and all the books on it. Uh, sometimes we'll offer arts and crafts and story time when they stop. Nice. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's about it. That's a wonderful thing. So. When you see the bookmobile come around, or you, mm -hmm. we're going to put like all the schedules and everything like that on yes. our social media and everything like that. Yeah, Make sure you go outside. They're the nicest people in the world. They got Guamanians with big, huge smiles <laughs> and everything like that. Make sure you endorse them. Okay, there's also a mural. Yes. Speaking of wonderful things to look at. Yes. Please tell me all about that. So the other uh, part of the 70th year commemoration that event that we're having is, like you said, the we're going to have an unveil a wall mural, and. It's a long, it's going to be a long route for. Yes. It's a bit of a surprise. So, so we can't tell you about that We can't that tell you yet. that much about what's going to be on it. Well, do you guys librarians or are you guys marketing people? <laughs> you guys are all leading up to the big T's. And... Although it's route four, so I don't know how much of a surprise. So that's basically Sinan you're going down into again, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, 
right across Nambo and Shirley's that intersection. Okay. Yes. So. So basically, and, right at the yeah. Neavism Flores Memorial Library. Yeah. In Yen, yeah. So you. If you're passing by, you might already start to see our artist painting because okay. they've already started and it'll be unveiled on the 26th. Very cool. Our um, artist is also a teacher at JFK. Yes. So we did um, a service learning collaboration with him and his art students. And they're also painting the hallways inside our library, um, our children's section, which we're experiencing Banding. So we have a children's activity room called Plaza and Paraisu that we're going to unveil that day as well. And his kids are going to paint along the hallways. Mm -hmm. So that will also be unveiled. Very nice. So to, to add on to that, uh, currently the children's library, it, when you come into the main um, entrance, would be on the right hand side. And that will be considered the Plaza and Manaitai, a place to read. And then the left side, which is the one that she explained, the Plaza and Prada so that will be kind of like the area that you can get a little bit more noisy. You know, um, it'll, like it'll have arts and crafts. But it'll also be a place where we have a stage um, for the for kids to do things like um, perform or to do puppet uh, puppet shows and stuff like that. In a way for them to not only just have fun, but also to kind of work on their, um, you know, getting over their fear of. of being in front of people, exactly. build up their self confidence. So that's I part of the stuff. I love going to the library. You make new friends. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, you get to hang out, get to do really, really cool activities and everything. Okay, uh, we got to go because um, our time is running out. But if each of you can maybe give us a one sentence answer, and because there's an entire generation of young people out there that don't know the joy of going to the library, you know, experiencing that with your parents and your friends, what should they expect when they go to their their public library? I hope that they find a place where they can escape. They can use their imagination and just explore without having to leave the island. You open a book and you're transported and we'll help you get there. <laughs> How about you, Jenna? It's kind of like what you said earlier. You know, it's a place where you can... Um, well, actually, it's kind of like the same thing. <laughs> you just be transported through books. Mm -hmm. You know, your your dreams and, and everything that you, you might imagine, you can all do that through reading books. All right. Well, thank you both. Thank you so much for having us. All right. And congratulations on bringing back the bookmobile. As the song goes, Butterfly in the Sky, I Can Fly Twice as High.